This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate the world's longest man-made spark from the SIBNIIE High Voltage Test Facility in Siberia. Credit CapturedLightning.com Here is a 150 meter or 492 foot man-made spark. The cylindrical object on the left houses a multi-million volt or MV megavolt high voltage impulse generator called a Marx generator at the Siberian Power Research Institute high voltage testing facility in Novosibirsk, Siberia. The positive polarity and rate of rise of the voltage pulse from the Marx generator maximized the efficiency of creating long sparks. Although first reports of huge 100 plus meter sparks were initially met with skepticism, by scientists and high-voltage engineers, a number of power engineers and scientists have subsequently witnessed similar events at this facility. Sometimes these errant bolts hit the top of street lamps in the adjacent parking lot. At this facility, sparks up to 200 meters long have been created using a comparatively low potential of 5.2 megavolts. In order to gain a feel for scale in the above photo, the cylindrical building is 28 meters, or 90 feet high, and it houses a 28-stage Marx generator that's capable of generating positive or negative output pulses of up to 7 million volts. The building is constructed of closed-cell polyurethane foam, about 1 meter thick, to withstand the high-voltage stress. In late 2005, a member of the Tesla coil mailing list, Dimitri, a Tesla coiling enthusiast who lives near the facility, was able to schedule a visit with members of their staff. Dimitri subsequently shared details about this facility in a series of email messages to other members on the list, and the excellent pictures he took can be seen. A video slideshow of this facility can also be seen on YouTube. Through his efforts, we now know that the SIBNIIE generator uses 896 energy storage capacitors, each rated at 175 nanofarads at 125 kilovolts. Each Marx stage uses 32 capacitors, connected as four in parallel with eight of these groups in series to create a bank of 1400 nanofarad at 500 kilovolt DC per stage. In order to prolong capacitor life, each stage is operated at a maximum of 250 kilovolts. The fully charged erected capacitance is 50 nanofarad, and at a peak power the generator develops 1.225 million joules. MJ per shot. In the above discharge, the maximum voltage was approximately 5 million volts, resulting in a point-to-point -point discharge of 70 meters, or 230 feet. The estimated actual spark channel distance was 150 meters, or 492 feet. The pulse rise time was 150 USEC, duration was 10 milliseconds, and the overall Mark's bank energy was 678 kilojoules. An even larger Marx generator resides at the High Voltage Research Center, HVRC, in Istra, Russia. The facility was designed and built by the former German firm TUR and was commissioned by Siemens. The facility is also the home of the world's largest AC test facility, with cascaded transformers capable of delivering 3 million volts AC at 12 million volt amperes, or MVA. The huge Istra Marx generator towers 43 meters or 141 feet high and consists of 15 stages. Each stage is capable of operating at a maximum of 600 kilovolts. Each stage has a huge external voltage grating ring to help equalize the voltage stress across the tower and to prevent unwanted corona or flashovers. The Istra facility is designed to generate a maximum of 9 million volts at an erect capacitance of 150 nanofarads. It is normally operated at a maximum of 6 million volts, 1.3 megajoules per shot, in order to prolong capacitor life. The following images show a daytime view of the Istra generator and a man-made lightning bolt at night. Two incomplete leaders can also be seen issuing from the top toroid. Another unexpected branched leader can also be seen coming from the lower 12th stage grading ring. This generator has produced open air sparks as long as 150 meters, or 492 feet. Through high voltage research at facilities such as these, it has been determined that switching surges on extra high voltage, 
or EHV, electrical power transmission systems can initiate conductive plasma channels called streamers, which can quickly lead to flashovers to other phases or ground, causing disruptive circuit breaker trips and unplanned service outages. The formation and growth of positive streamers may be a limiting factor for practical EHV power transmission system design. This phenomenon may place an upper voltage limit for AC transmission of about 1.2 million volts. Currently, the highest operating AC transmission voltage is 1.15 million volts. Used in the power line Ikebastu's Kokshetu, a 696-kilometer three-phase transmission line that connects hydropower generating plants in western Siberia through Kazakhstan to Russia. A 1.1 megavolt transition system is also operational in China. However, India plans to implement an experimental 1.2 megavolt AC transmission system at their UHVAC testing facility at Bina in Madhya Pradesh. The Power Grid Corporation of India, PGCIL, plans to apply experience gained from this test facility to convert a 400-kilometer transmission line connecting Wardha and Aurangabad from 400 kilovolts to 1.2 megavolts, increasing the capacity of these transmission lines from 400 megawatts to over 6,000 megawatts. Photo courtesy of Bazilan and Razor from Spark Discharge, CRC Press, 1997, and Vladimir S. Sisyov and Yuri V. Shrebikov. Electrical Strength of Ultra-Long Air Gaps, the International Conference on Lightning and Static Electricity, September 2001, Seattle, Washington.